Tektronix is a world leader in electronic test and measurement equipment with a commitment to educational support. Tektronix produces videotapes, booklets, training aids, and related support materials which can assist in learning test and measurement concepts. This program is a sampler of six videotapes. The programs range from Oscillowhat, What is an Oscilloscope, to the operation of analog and digital oscilloscopes. Each of these programs and a complete list of additional materials is available through your local Tektronix sales office or by calling the Tektronix National Marketing Center at 1-800-433-2323. Complete ordering information is presented at the end of this program. These samples include entry-level programs, some requiring no technical experience in the electronic measurement arena, and others requiring a working knowledge of oscilloscopes. This knowledge can be gained by viewing and studying the first three programs on this tape and practicing with an oscilloscope. These programs can be used in the classroom or as a self-paced study aid. The first show on this sampler is Oscillowhat? What is an oscilloscope? This 17-minute videotape is aimed at an entry-level audience. The concept of an oscilloscope as a tool used to measure electronic signals is presented using a simple vocabulary. Also discussed are areas where oscilloscopes are used. This show is not directly concerned with how an oscilloscope works or how to perform a measurement. These concepts are dealt with in other shows on this sampler. A user's guide with recommendations for viewing and a glossary of the electronic terms used in the show is available to accompany this program. What you people do. <laughs> what do we do? Well, that poking around and pouring through those hieroglyphics. You mean troubleshooting? With the schematics and the probe, it's really pretty logical. I'm not doing anything mysterious. Oh, though. yeah? What about all that knob turning and, and twisting you do with this, uh, this blue thing? You mean my oscilloscope? Oscilla what? Oscilloscope, or just plain scope for short. It lets me see what's going on inside my circuits. It's the most useful and logical tool I've got. Oscilloscope. Catchy name. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a television, isn't it? Television? Oh, you mean the picture tube? Yes, uh, televisions and oscilloscopes both use picture tubes to show information, but oscilloscopes show measurement instead of soap operas. Oh, then this, uh, this bright line means something. Yeah, right. It means the signal I'm measuring is plus 5 volts DC. Oh, so an oscilla thing is kind of like a voltmeter. Um, close. Oscilloscopes are like voltmeters, both measure voltage but voltmeters can only give you a numerical value. Oscilloscopes let you see how things change over time. Change over time. Mm -hmm. uh, how the second program on the sampler is Fundamentals of Oscilloscopes, a functional overview. The targeted audience for this show should have some background in electronics and electronic terminology, and some exposure to oscilloscopes. After watching this 15-minute tape, the viewer should be able to list the four main functional blocks of an oscilloscope, vertical, trigger, horizontal, and display, CRT, and describe the basic function of each. A user's guide complete with viewing recommendations and a glossary of electronic terms is also available with this tape. Oscilloscopes display electrical events by drawing a graph that shows amplitude on the vertical or y-axis and time on the horizontal or x-axis. So the scope lets us see the amplitude of an electrical event over a calibrated period of time. In this program, we'll use a block diagram of a typical oscilloscope to show you how an oscilloscope displays both vertical and horizontal information. The best way to visualize how an oscilloscope works is to split the display into two parts, the vertical portion and the horizontal portion. This diagram shows the functional blocks commonly found in oscilloscopes like the 2235. In this part of the tape, we'll take a closer look at the signal path through the vertical section. Source signals are connected to oscilloscopes through probes or through coaxial cables. After a signal source is connected to the vertical input BNC, the signal flows through the vertical input coupling network. Coming up next is 2200 Series Operation, a videotape adaptation of the XYZs of using a scope. With the use of a Tektronix 2215 and block diagrams, basic oscilloscope operation is explained. 
All front panel controls and functions are demonstrated on this 26-minute videotape aimed at novice scope users. Using the primer, the XYZs of using a scope while studying this program is recommended. This booklet is available from your local Tektronix sales office or by calling the Tektronix NMC at 1-800-433-2323. The oscilloscope displays information by drawing a graph of the input signal versus time. It does it by moving an electron beam across a phosphor coating on the inside face of a cathode ray tube. The result is a brief glow tracing the path of the beam. Only an electron beam can be moved quickly, easily and accurately enough to draw graphs like these in milliseconds, microseconds or nanoseconds. The horizontal system supplies horizontal movement, the x-axis. It uses an accurately timed sweep, a ramp waveform that moves the beam horizontally across the CRT in a constant and linear fashion that allows time measurements to be made between events applied on the vertical axis. The first thing one sees when looking at the CRT is the graticule. It's the grid of lines on the inside of the CRT faceplate. The graticule is the reference for your measurements. Though different sized CRTs may be used, graticules are usually laid out in an 8 by 10 pattern. In 2200 series scopes, the major graticule divisions are 1 centimeter. Advanced 2200 series operation builds on the information covered in the previous show, 2200 series operation. It takes the viewer to more complex measurements with higher accuracy. Using practical applications, the additional capabilities of the 2235 and the DMM counter system on the 2236 are shown in detail. This 18-minute program is aimed at the novice scope user with an understanding of basic electronics and electronic terminology. The 2236, when used as an ordinary oscilloscope, operates identically to the 2235. But who would want to operate it as an ordinary oscilloscope? The built-in counter-timer multimeter makes this scope a completely new kind of instrument. The readout and all the controls for the counter-timer multimeter are across the top of the front panel. But there is interactivity with other scope controls because there are interconnections with oscilloscope circuitry. This does not mean that this instrument is hard to use. On the contrary, using these functions is easy and natural and making measurements is fast. Let's use a delay time measurement as an example. If you will recall, delay time measurement with a 2215 involves reading numbers from a 10-turn helidial and multiplying by the A time base. On the 2236, we'll read the calculated numbers directly from a fluorescent readout. Now here's the real power of the 2236. Unlike conventional scopes, there's no visual interpretation or calculation involved. This delay time measurement has a specified accuracy and resolution. The next program is 2245-2246 GPS operation. This 22-minute program is targeted for audiences with a basic knowledge of scope operation. With assuring accuracy, powerful measurements are shown to be easier to make with the addition of cursors and menus on the 2246. All front panel controls, menus, and their functions are explained using easy-to-follow applications. The test signals used in this program are generated by the CRS-101 Basic Training Lab. This signal generator is available through your local Tektronix sales office. The row of buttons at the top center of the front panel let you select the desired menus of functions. The column of buttons next to the display lets you select one of the functions from the menu on the display. The clear display button turns off menus, functions, and tracking cursors. This button turns off items according to these priorities. Menu first, function second, and tracking cursors third. After pushing the cursor button, we'll start with a volts cursor's measurement. When volts is selected, the displayed voltage is the difference between a pair of horizontal cursors superimposed on the waveform. The cursor positions are controlled by the cursor's knobs. To measure a different part of the waveform, simply move the reference cursor 
and the delta cursor to the desired locations. The readout shows the difference voltage. For measurements reference to ground, we push the cursor button to return to the cursor menu. Then select ground volts. The ground reference cursor is automatically positioned at ground. Using the delta cursor control, we can find any voltage point on the waveform reference to ground. The value in polarity is displayed in the readout. The final program on the sampler is operating the 2230 digital oscilloscope. This 35-minute tape assumes a working knowledge of analog scopes. The program is presented in three parts. 2230 front panel analog operation, basic digital storage operation, and extended storage operation using the menu. Using common applications, the functions of each front panel control and menu are demonstrated in storage and non-storage modes. For digital terminology and theory, the DSO Primer, an introduction to digital storage, is a recommended prerequisite to viewing this tape. This booklet is available from your local Tektronix sales office. The test signals used on this program were generated by the CRS-101 Basic Training Lab. With this signal generator, the viewer can recreate these same examples and many other basic oscilloscope measurements. Storage provides measurement capabilities not available on conventional analog oscilloscopes. These include the ability to view phenomena occurring well before the trigger event, storing waveforms for later analysis or comparison, and easy viewing of low rep rate or single shot events. With a push of a button, the 2230 transforms into a digital storage oscilloscope. The 2230 is as easy to use in the storage mode as in the non-storage mode. The additional storage controls are located horizontally across the top of the front panel. After a waveform is digitized and displayed, we can freeze or save it. Pushing in the save button stops the current acquisition and display update. After depressing the button, the word save appears on the CRT. You probably noticed the T on the waveform. The T marks the trigger point. In non-storage oscilloscopes, the trigger point is at the extreme left edge of the CRT and events just before the trigger point are invisible. With the 2230 digital storage scope, the trigger point can be positioned to any point on the waveform. This allows the capture and viewing of pre-trigger events. From the front panel, the trigger point can be positioned at either of two locations on the waveform by selecting pre-trigger or post-trigger. These six shows are just a small sample of the many videotapes, literature pieces, and training aids available from Tektronix. Other video titles include Spectrum Analyzer Concepts, Monochrome Video Concepts, Color Video Concepts, Inkjet Copier Concepts, AM Measurements, FM Measurements, Pulsed RF Measurements. For a complete and up-to-date list, contact your local Tektronix sales office or call the Tektronix NMC at 1-800-433-2323. The six programs sampled on this show are priced at $60 each and are available on all commercial formats. Discounts for multiple copies are available. To place your order, please have the following information. The tape format desired, UMATIC, VHS, Beta 1, Beta 2, or Beta 3, the program title, the part number for any videotapes, the literature number for any primers. The last two digits of the part number determines the tape format. The first program was Oscillo What? What is an Oscilloscope? Part number 068-0218-blank blank. Also available with this tape is a user's guide, literature number 46W6421. Next, was Fundamentals of Oscilloscopes, a functional overview, part number 068-0217-blank-blank. -blank. The user's guide with this show has literature number 46W6384. The third show was 2200 series operation, part number 068-0146-blank-blank. -blank. The primer XYZs of using a scope is a recommended study guide with literature number 46 AX 4758-2. For quantities of 50 primers with an instructor's aid, use part number 062-6731-00. 
The fourth show, Advanced 2200 Series Operation, has part number 068-0151-blank-blank. Blank. 2245-2246 GPS Operation carries part number 068-0224-blank-blank. Blank. The final show was operating the 2230 DSO, part number 068-0209-blank-blank. Blank. Blank. A recommended prerequisite is the primer and introduction to digital storage. Literature number for this is 46W6051. If you have any questions in the test and measurement field, contact your local Tektronix sales office or call the Tektronix National Marketing Center at 1-800-433-2323.